great to get one in the books. You know, the first game I think is always the toughest game. You know, and I was saying, you know, even my son's game yesterday was a hard fought game. And you know, when you're expected to win, it makes it more difficult. And you had to make sure you keep them loose at halftime. I thought the, the first, you know, four minutes of the third quarter were crucial for us, jumping out and jumping out for 11 0, you know, run. Mm -hmm. I think that gave us, you know, some. Gave us a little bit of room to breathe, and plus, I think gave us our confidence because we weren't shooting well. So I think that was a big, big step to the right direction for the game. Huge difference, and they said it was a priority. Also, was the boards. You really heard them on the offensive boards. You extended possessions, and like their coach said a few times, those possessions wound up in a three or uh, them fouling you. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you talk about the offensive boards tonight? Well, I mean, yeah, G had six offensive boards, and Mary had three, and. and that was one of the areas we talked about was just trying to get extra possessions, especially when you're not scoring. And we shot 30% in the first half. And if you're not scoring, you got to try to get extra possessions some way. I mean, um, they were in a rhythm offensively. They were, you know, what I was frustrated and disappointed about in the first half was the players was getting what they want, what they normally do. Like 44 was getting their mid-range shots, 5 was mm -hmm. getting to the basket. And they were able to do what they wanted to do. And so we weren't taking them out of anything. We made some adjustments at halftime and corrected that. But... You know, we won the battle of the boards, and I think, and, and the fact that we had more assistant turnovers, I think, you know, we controlled the ball better, and I thought we did a better job with that. And um, it was just getting, I think it was getting over the first game home. Second half, you no, know, Lauren was on, we, we tried to double her. You know, so our okay. goal in the second half was anytime she came off a handoff or a ball screen was going to be a double. And we said, if anybody's going to beat us, let's make somebody else beat us. So, you know, just try to get the ball out of her hands and make sure we rotate the 44 and get you know, somebody else make some shots. G, what was your uh, your plan coming in? I mean, you had to face. Uh, they didn't really have a traditional like, post score that they can go to constantly. They usually play right from the basket. So, what was your game plan in, uh, on um, both I sides? Just, I just wanted to make sure that I played smart and aggressive. Um, last time we played them, they doubled me on the post, and I fed right into every single double. So, I just wanted to make sure, you know, if they were doubling me, kick it out to my teammates. Um, so, just trying to be aggressive and just play smart. Uh, what were you telling them in uh, between the first and second quarter when you guys were struggling with the shot? They were hitting shots. It was only down two yeah. at halftime, so things were starting to turn around. Well, that's exactly but. what I said. I said at halftime, guys, guys, listen, we're shooting 30%. We're only down two. We're yeah. easy to be down 10 or 12. So, I mean, I wasn't really concerned from that, and my concern was more from the defensive end. We were getting open shots. So I wasn't concerned of whether we were getting going offensively. My concern was really shutting their go-to players defensively. Yeah. Tempo tonight, low 60s possession, which is kind of a slower pace. And is that something they forced or you basically look for that? Playing we said it. We, we wanted to set the tone. I mean, they, okay. they're a transition type team. And so from this last stretch, we've been more of a ball control. We've kind of limited our, our pushing because, one, we have kids playing more minutes now, you know, and, and trying to, you know, make sure that we don't expend that. But also, we want other teams to have to play defense. You know, we were taking quick shots or turning the ball over in transition, and we weren't necessarily taking the best shots. So, like for us, we felt in order to be successful down the stretch in the last seven games, I think we've been six and one last seven games. We needed to make sure that we we controlled tempo and that we didn't get caught into the running style of somebody else. Um, we've been talking all season about this whole new format thing, but you did earn the home game. So I'll start with G. Just um, even though we wanted to be all everyone on a neutral court, you did earn the home game. So how good was that to at least start the playoffs with uh, uh, a home win? It felt great having you know home court advantage, being on our home floor, having you know our fans there to cheer us on. The energy was great, and we just fed off of that all night for all game. Yeah, afternoon. afternoon. Yeah. All afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> all day. Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to like everybody at Fordham, all the sports, all the coaches, the administration, you know, everybody with marketing and ticketing and. You know, our band, our cheerleaders, our you know, our, our dance team. I just I can't thank everybody enough for coming out and supporting us. It made a big, big difference for us, and, and I know our players and coaches really, really appreciate it. So thank you to everyone in the Florida community. Uh, I'll wrap up with uh, just looking ahead now. I mean, I see St. Louis is up already 22. Last I checked, um, you've only faced them once. You faced them in a really raucous environment in St. Louis, but now you're on a neutral court. Um, what are you looking back at that game, and what do you want to do differently heading into uh, Friday? I want to pretend that game never happened. <laughs> we, that was kind of a turning point for our team as far as there was a lot of things in that locker room that I just felt like that was, between that and the GW game, I just felt like we really just, you know, 
we kind of kind of got away from what got us where we were as a program, and so um, we spent a lot of time talking about those things. And I think everybody realized that if we're going to win, we can't all go in different directions and can't all try to take chances to get back in it. We got to stay true to what got us to where we are. So I think it's a it was a great learning experience, and I, I have no doubt that we'll be ready for St. Louis.